if you guys want to know how I got this glueless wig, and I mean, yep, glueless, you can see me fixing it right there. How I got this glueless wig to look like a fresh install, make sure you like, comment, and keep watching. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Keanu Marie, and if you are new here, then welcome. If you're not new here, then welcome back. I'm so glad to start off the new year with a lot of new and exciting wigs, mostly just improving the Bye Bye Not Wig collection and glueless wigs. I think I'm going to be focusing a lot on glueless wigs this month, but I will be doing some traditional installs. Today we have a 7x5 glueless Bye Bye Not wig by the company You Nice Hair. This is a reddish brown wig. These are some of the goodies that they sent me. They sent me a robe. I know you guys noticed the You Nice rebrand that I've been talking about in my previous videos where they've been using this bright pink. They also changed the color of the robe. It is also matching that bright pink and I'm loving the branding of the company. They sent me nails, you know, an edge cap. Actually, they sent me two um, packs of edge cap. There's two in each, so that's four in total. They sent me this new glueless wig cap. I think it's so, like, in case you want to actually install the wig and you don't want to do, like, the entire, like, sew down cap method, which I think is, like, really great for people who just don't want to go through all of that and want to reuse the cap, which you can. This is what the wig looks like. It is this gorgeous auburn reddish brown color and of course it comes with edges and already molded down i am going to be doing some gorgeous curls as you could tell by the thumbnail today this is what the wig looks like it is 24 inches 180 percent density and as you can see it does have that grip lining that makes it very easy to be a coolest wig you can also install these wigs if you want but today we are going to show how beginner friendly these wigs are This is what the wig looks like when I hold it up. I am going to be doing a lot of stuff to it. Don't mind how, well, however, like I did it. I was trying to get the brown cap off of it just to kind of show you guys a better idea of how the edges come and the fact that there are no knots on these wigs. The Bye Bye Knot wigs do not come with any knots. You don't need to bleach the knots. I know some people bleach the knots on their colored wigs, but you don't have to do that with these wigs. As you can see, that grip lining is very sturdy and that's what's going to help us achieve our glueless install. Now, I know you guys don't see the band. Recently, they've started putting the band separately. I guess some people don't really like the band. You can still make the wig glueless without having that elastic band since there's already a grip lining around the perimeter of the wig, but I like to use the band just because it is helpful to me. After tightening it to kind of the preferred size, if you don't tighten it, it might not fit your head. If you have a smaller head, I do recommend tightening it just to get further security with the wig. And then I'm gonna be taking my even lace tint in the shade medium dark brown and spraying that all over the hair. If you don't want the color on that lace tint to run, make sure you dry it before you try and put the wig on. I always do the band first and then I flip the wig over. That works for me. As you could tell, it is pretty fitted on my head. There was a little bit of space in this wig, I'm not gonna lie, but I was able to kind of just get it to lay down the way that I wanted it to. It could have been tighter, but I wasn't going anywhere and I didn't feel the need to secure it anymore. So I felt like this was tight enough. Right here, I'm just brushing away any flyaways to make sure that my edges are fully separated before I start hot combing because I am gonna be doing some nice bombshell curls on this wig and I do want some really good layers. So I'm trying to make sure everything is pushed back and just basically laid out flat before I start cutting any hair. As you guys can see, that part goes all the way back with my head. It is five inches going back. If you have a big head, I recommend anything that has five inches going back. If you're looking at a frontal, I recommend a 13 by six just because I don't think the frontals um, really have anything that's like, 13 by five, but for closures, whether it's five by five, six by five, seven by five, you wanna look for anything with five just because it is gonna look a lot better. When you have more parting space in the middle, it makes the wig look a lot more natural. And I was trying to use my comb to cut those layers. I had to do it off camera. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I had to stop and do it off camera because it just would not cut while I was recording. And then I'm separating the hair by kind of making a middle section and almost a half up half down at first i thought i was gonna do a half up half down it looks really cute i'm not gonna lie i even hot combed it laid it out perfectly and then when i started doing the curls i took it down because i was like nah this will look better if i just curl the whole thing but for half the video i did end up doing half up half down where i just basically put the middle section into a tiny little bun and then i was working on the rest of the hair before i decided i wanted to change it This goes to show how versatile these 7x5 glueless wigs are because even though it's a glueless wig, I was still able to get a half up half down. 
y'all don't have any excuse if you wanted to do a half up half down on a glueless wig you definitely could the fact that i did one and right here i was just kind of doing a little messy bun to see how much i liked it and then i was like nah i'm gonna do curls on the entire head but i am gonna section off the middle part just so i could know where to cut Y'all, I recently discovered that I've been using my curling iron completely wrong. The way that I was doing it in my videos actually was not curling it the way it was supposed to. You guys are going to see when I let this curl go that it looks a lot different than how it looks in my other videos. And it's because I learned from TikTok that I was actually curling my hair wrong. Now I finally know how to curl my hair real nice, which is why my layers turned out so good in this video compared to my other videos. So yeah, now I'm going to be definitely not going to be scared to cut my hair since I actually know how to curl it now. Because before, I don't know what I was doing. You guys might be wondering why I included this part with my real hair showing. That just shows you how much the glueless wig covers. It does not cover the full 13 inches of your hair, but it covers 7 inches at the front, which is why it is the 7 by 5 just to enough to give that frontal effect. So you get the frontal effect when your hair is like down. You can do a side part, whatever. But if you're like pulling your hair back, obviously it's not going to cover those sideburns. So it looks like a frontal without the hassle of a frontal. And then here, after I let my hair down, you could kind of see the vision that I was going for. And I am going to just, um, I combed that out and then I did cut that a little bit off camera before I curled it. Just so I could get the perfect layers of what I wanted. But so far, the hair is looking gorgeous. I'm really excited about this color. mistake before was combing it out with a brush you're actually supposed to comb it out with a wide tooth comb as you can see when i did it the hair layered itself perfectly and then i'm doing the same thing to the other side i wanted like big um i don't know if you would really consider these to be curtain bangs i don't think so but i did want big layers i wanted them to really sit on top of each other like they were on both sides and i'm using a wide tooth comb to kind of get them to sit just how they do on each side so i feel like it was pretty symmetrical for a first timer like actually curling the hair right because i've curled hair before but i've never gotten those layers to really sit down how i want them to and then i'm taking some um i think it's it's either l'oreal hairspray or tresemme hairspray and i'm just going over that with my hard brush and i am flattening down the middle part of my hair just because it kind of did raise up a little bit and i do not feel like using the hot comb again These are the best curls I've done featured on any wig on my channel and I feel so proud because I'm getting better at this. I've been doing this for two years and I've never curled hair this good but everything is a process and I'm so glad you guys are here with me to kind of go through this journey. I promise this year I am really going to work on my craft and get better at this just so I can give you guys the best reviews and DIY wig stuff at home because I know sometimes being a beginner is very hard and I started out as a beginner one so yeah I feel like quality tutorials are worth it but that is about it for the hair. Alright so this is another Bye Bye Knot unit by Unice Hair. Now I've never tried a colored body wave Bye Bye Knot unit. This one came with the edges exactly how I like them. If you guys peeped my last video, I did like the way that the edges came, you know, fully molded down. So that way when you flip it over, everything was already done. If you want to wear the hair fresh out of the packaging, you definitely can. Some people wear body wave exactly how it is, like no curling, no nothing. I decided to do some barrel curls and cut some slight layers into this hair because I felt like it was very full. And I could do a lot with like the way this wig is. As you guys see, I have a whole bunch of parting space. Five inches going back and then seven inches to the sides. It stops about right here, but when it comes down, it literally looks like a frontal, so you would not be able to tell. This looks like I have a fresh install, and the curls held so beautifully. I didn't even need a lot of the, um, I didn't use a lot of holding spray either. I only use holding spray at the top of my head just to kind of secure the right here, this kind of area, because I didn't feel like using a hot comb way more than I needed to. And then I used my Fantasia heat protectant spray to kind of get these curls going. 
and this is the length of the hair now i did cut some layers in it but the hair is still pretty long and full i love the way that the curls turned out and then as for the lace the lace blended into my skin perfectly i feel like with ginger wigs it is very easy to blend them into my skin just because my skin tone is kind of close to it so it doesn't really look awkward if that makes sense and yeah i love the fluffiness of this hair it's 180 percent density which means it is very full you can get the desired look that you want with this as i'm putting my fingers through the ends are going right back staying curly they're not frizzing up or anything and this wig just looks so glamorous yeah if you want to try a color i feel like dark colors like this are the perfect thing to try in my last um video with you nice i did try a highlighted wig if you want to go for more something bold other than just like a little bit of streaks, I recommend darker colors like this that are still natural, but they do have a little bit of pop just to give you something new to do for the season. And yeah, as I'm <laughs> really playing with the curls, they are going right back to how they were. None of them are messing up. I really like the way this hair turned out and I feel like Unice is getting better and better with their Bye Bye Knot units just because they keep coming with edges, everything already done. This one was molded to perfection when I actually put it on. So yeah. This wig is 24 inches, which is pretty much the usual length that I get just because I try to get a length that I can do a lot of styles on and really just show how diverse this hair is. I'm going to keep playing in the hair until the video is over because I just love the way that this looks. I love wigs like this. So yeah, if you want to shop the Unice Bye Bye Knot collection as well as just check out any of what they have, they do have a new type of glueless wig coming out that I will be trying very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video and want to check out more from Unice Hair, as well as shop their entire Bye Bye Knot collection, all of the information will be in my description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh.